down there. How are you? Good to see you. I'll be there just one moment. Oh. Oh. Well, I do like being up high. Did you see me right at the top there? Well, my challenge today is going to be about height. Now, it started a long time ago for me when I was young and I loved being up high. Loved climbing and going on adventures. I think you see a picture here. There we are. Possibly another one there. Oh, look at me climbing. That was a bit scary, that was. But now I do different things with being up high. I quite like building rather tall towers as high as I can. Have a look at this video to see a few more towers I spotted around the world. Did you see those towers? Weren't they tall? Stretching right up into the sky there. Well, that's our challenge. Our challenge is to make a tower as tall as we can. Now, what can we make a tower out of? If I want to get even taller than this one, really. Maybe have a look around at home, see what you've got. What could you use to make a tower? I know that Mr. Gilbert was out this morning by the beach. He's made a tower using rocks. Have a look. Well done, Mr. Gilbert. Look at you go. Hey, have a look at my next video. With a little helper I had at home, finding different things to build towers out of. Some of them were good, some of them weren't so good, some were really tricky. See how you get on. So an important thing to do is to plan well. Now that you've had a look at what you've got around the house, think about what worked best for you. Plan those resources, the things that you need to make your tower, because now that you've used lots of different resources, it's time to draw it. You could even mix some of those different resources. Draw it in your plan. You could even label it as well. Now this video has been speeded up, so take more time than I do here. So I started with my base, I'm going to build up with my four blocks at the bottom and I'm going to put three rectangular ones on top of that. Again my blocks, I think I'm going to build a structure like this, again three, getting it slightly thinner as the tower goes up, stretching it at the top and I'm going to go for some, I think a pointy top, that will do. If you're worried it's not strong enough at the bottom, there we go, that should help. Right, draw the floor there, right, label up, there's a twilly rolls, uh, the blocks. Uh, some sticks, I need tape for that actually. And dominoes at the top, brilliant. Ah, well there we go, there's my plan. I think the next stage, now that I've planned it, is to do it. I'm going to follow my plan and hopefully I'll have my tower by the end of it. I wonder if there'll be things that have to change a little bit, things that I might have to adapt it to make it even better. Right, see you in a minute. Now, at the end, when you finish making your tower, remember to review it. Remember, go back to your plan. Were the things that worked really well? Were the things that were a little bit tricky that you had to change? Maybe some of the items you found weren't quite up for the task. Maybe you had to change it slightly. At the end, you might want to go even further with this tower challenge. Maybe you could measure. Measure to see how tall your tower is. You could use a tape measure or how many hands tall is your tower. Or you could write some instructions 
or a recount or tell an adult how you went about building your tower. You could even draw a picture at the end. You might spot in your tower that there's a few shapes. How many triangles can you see? How many squares? How many rectangles? So I'll say good luck to you, tower builders. Make nice, strong, tall towers. Take a photograph. Make that plan. I can't wait to see how you get on. Good luck, everyone. Bye-bye.